Change your life quotes. Actions speak louder than words. Alter your attitude. Be grateful. Believe in miracles. Cultivate kindness and compassion. Dream the impossible dream. Embrace change. Enjoy today. Forget failure. Gather your courage. Grow old gracefully. Have hopes. Help others. Keep it light. Know thyself. Learn to forgive. Let her rip. Life's journey. Never give up. Overcome obstacles. Write livelihood. Sweet smell of success. Take the first step. Win some. Lose some. Life-changing quotes. I've always admired Ritz-Carlton hotels. Their service is impeccable. It was until recently, however, I found that why every employee carries a laminated card with 20 Ritz-Carlton basics printed on it. Each day, the manager urges the employees to emphasize one of them. This book is like that card. It's filled with basic but profound thoughts which can change your life in the same way Ritz-Carlton basically helped the employee do a better job and provide superior customer service. Each day, you might want to select one quote or more from this book and focus on it or them to help you change and improve your life. You can carry a quote or quotes with you in your wallet, purse, post it in your refrigerator door, keep it by your computer. In addition, being an inspiration to yourself and quotations in this book can also help motivate others. Use them in your newsletter, in your websites, in your email. However, you choose to use the uplifting and inspiring quotes. I know that they will change your life and life will take them to the heart. If you do, I'd love to hear about it and you can contact me. Once again then, the most powerful drug used by mankind is the words in this book, the prescription for having and looking and changing your life. To change one's life, start immediately. Do it with flamboyantly. No exceptions. Actions speak louder than words. A. After your attitude. Saying is one thing, doing is another. What you do is speak so loudly that I can't even hear what you say. Speak little, do much. We know what a person thinks by when he tells us what he thinks by his actions. Things won or done. Joy's soul lies in the doing. Get all the education you can, but then by God do something. Don't just stand there. Make it happen. Perhaps the most valuable result of all education is the ability to make yourself do the thing that you have to do when it ought to be done, whether you like it or not. The truth of the matter is that you've always known the right thing to do. The hard part is doing it. They talk most of what they have at least to say. There's a very few people who don't become more interesting when they stop talking. There are very few people who don't become more interesting when they stop talking. Noise proves nothing. Often a hen who has merely laid an egg crackles if she'd laid an asteroid. The superior man is modest in his speech and exceeds in his actions. The people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want. If they can't find them, they make them. There are two kinds of people. Those who don't get what they want to do, those who don't do what they want to do, and they write down in a diary about what they haven't done, and those who haven't had time to write about it because they're out there doing it. If you have something to do that is worthwhile doing, don't talk about it. Do it. Action is the antidote to despair. Activity and sadness are incompatible. Action may not always bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. All the beautiful sediments in the world weigh less than a single lovely action. Words are more bubbles of water, but deeds are drops of gold. Let every action aim solely at the common good. The moment of definite commits oneself, the providence moves too. It is better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. Change your thoughts and you change your world. The most powerful thing that you can do is change your world, is to change your own beliefs and the nature of life, people, reality, to something more positive. Watch your thoughts. They become words. Watch your words. They become actions. Watch your actions. They become habits. Watch your habits. They become character. And watch your character. It becomes your destiny. If you think you can do a thing, think that you can't do a thing, you're right. In the province of the mind, what one believes to be true either is true or becomes true. If you want to reach a goal, you must see the reaching in your own mind before you actually arrive it at the goal. The mind is its own place and in itself can make heaven of hell or hell of heaven. The last of a man's freedom is to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. We cannot choose the thing that will happen to us, but we can choose the attitude that will take towards anything that happens. Success or failure depends on your attitude. Seek out the particular mental attribute which makes and feel you feel most deeply and vital and alive, along with which comes an inner voice that says, this is the real me. And when you have found that attitude, follow it. The greatest revolution of our generation is the discovery of human beings by changing the inner attitudes of the mind can change the outer aspects of their lives. Even a thought, even possibility, even a thought, even possibility can shatter us and transform 
transform us. Two men look through same bars. One sees the mud, the one sees the stars. The greatest part of our happiness or misery depends on our disposition and not our circumstances. The meaning of things lies not in but the things themselves, but our attitude towards them. Most people are searching for happiness, not look, and they're looking for it. They're trying to find it somewhere and something outside of themselves. That's a fundamental mistake. Happiness is something that you are, and it comes from that way from the way you think. Most people are searching for happiness. They're looking for it. They're trying to find it in someone or something outside of themselves. That's a fundamental mistake. Happiness is something that you are, and it comes from the way you think. A happy person is not a person in a certain set of circumstances, but rather a person with a certain set of attitudes. Remember, happiness doesn't depend on who you are or what you have. It depends solely upon what you think. Ultimately, it's not the stories that determine our choices, but the stories that we continue to choose. I keep the telephone of my mind open to peace, harmony, health, love, and abundance. Then whenever doubts, anxiety, and fear try to call me, they keep getting the busy signal, and soon they'll forget my number. Be grateful. Believe in misery. God gave you the gift of 86,400 seconds a day. Have you used one to say thank you? Take one thing with another and the world is a pretty good sort of world. It's our duty to make the best of it and be thankful. Feeling gratitude is not expressing it. It's like wrapping a present and not giving it. Gratitude is the only and the greatest of virtues but the parent of all other virtues. If the only prayer you say in the whole life is thank you, that would be suffice. He who receives a benefit with a gratitude repays the first installment on his debt. Appreciation is like an insurance policy. It has to be renewed every now and then. Birds sing after a storm. Why shouldn't people feel free to delight in whatever remains to them? Sunshine is delicious. Rain is refreshing. Wind braces us up. Snow is exhilarating. There's really no such thing as bad weather. Only different kinds of good weather. Not being beautiful was the true blessing. Not being beautiful forced me to develop my inner resources. The pretty girl has a handicap to overcome. That tis better to have a loved and lost than never to have loved at all. To be upset over what you don't have is to waste what you do have. Health is a blessing that money cannot buy. Think of the ills from which you are exempt. Count your blessings and not your crosses. Count your gains, not your losses. Count your joys instead of your woes. Count your friends instead of your foes. Count your health and not your wealth. He who limps still walks. Too many people miss the silver lining because they're expecting gold. If you count all your assets, you always show a profit. A piece of miracle process has been researched for each of us. A piece of miracle process has been reserved for each of us. Where there is great love, there are miracles. The world is full of wonders and miracles, but man takes his little hand and covers his eyes and sees nothing. Miracles happen to those who believe in them. In any project that's important factor in your belief, without belief there can be no successful outcome. The thing always happens to you that you really believe in, and it's the belief in the thing that makes it happen. The only way to live is to accept each minute as an unrepeatable miracle, which is exactly what it is, a miracle and unrepeatable. There are only two ways to live your life. One is through nothing is is though nothing is a miracle, and the other is though everything is a miracle. Everything is miraculous. It is miraculous that one does not melt into one's bath. To be alive, to be able to see, to walk, to all is a miracle. I've adapted the technique of living life from miracle to miracle. All things of the universe are perfect miracles. Each is a profound in the any. That greatest miracle of all, the human being. There's a giant asleep within every man. And when that giant awakes, miracles happen. Miracles in the sense of a phenomenon we cannot explain surrounding our every hand. Life itself is, is a miracle of miracles. We couldn't conceive of a miracle if none had ever happened. Expect a miracle. Cultivate kindness and compassion. Cultivate kindness. No one cares about how much you know until they know how much you are and how much you care. No one knows. No one cares about how much you know until they know how much you care. Kindness is the language which is deaf and can hear and blind and can see. Kindness is the language which is deaf and can hear and the blind can see it. One kind word can warm three winter moths. Kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Kindness is a hard thing to give away. It keeps coming back to the giver. Kindness is, a never, kindness is never wasted. If it is, it has no effect on the recipient. At least its benefits the best hour, the bestower. You have it easy. 
You have it easily in your pocket to increase the sum total of this world's happiness now. How? By giving a few words of sincere appreciation to someone who is lonely or discouraged. Perhaps you might forget tomorrow the kind words that you say today, but the recipient may cherish them over a lifetime. I expect to pass through life but once, and therefore there be any kindness I can show, any good thing that I can do to my fellow being, let me do it now, and not defer or neglect it, as I shall not pass this way again. Life is not so short, but there it is that it's always not enough time for courteousness. A pat on the back, though only a few verbative removes from a kick in the pants, and miles ahead in results, is a pat on the back. If you step on people in this life, you're going to come back as a cockroach. Until you have learned to be a tolerant with those who do not always agree with you, until you've cultivated the habit of saying some kind word to those who you do not admire, until you form the habit of looking for the good instead of the bad in all the others, you will be neither successful nor happy. Keep in mind that the true meaning of an individual is how he treats a person who can do him absolutely no good. Be nice to people who are on your way up because you'll meet them on your way down. Never look down on anybody unless you're helping them up. The individual is capable of both great compassion and great indifference. He has within him the means, nourish the former, the outgrow the latter. When a man has compassion for others, God has compassion for him. Compassion for yourself translate into the passions for others. Compassion for yourself translate into compassion for others. It's only in our minds that we are separated from the rest of the world. Until he extends a circle of his compassion to the living things, man will not be himself, and he will not find peace. I think the purpose of life is to be useful, to be responsible, to be honorable, to be compassionate. It is, after all, to matter, to count, to stand for something, to have made a difference, that you lived it all. Often the most loving thing that we could do is when we have a friend in pain is to share the pain, to be there ever and have nothing to offer except our presence, and even the being there is a painful to ourselves. Shall we make a few rules of life tonight? Always try to be a little kinder than it is to be than necessary. Shall we make a new rule of life from tonight? Always to try to be a little kinder than is necessary. That old law about an eye for an eye leaves everybody blind. D. Dream the impossible dream. One can't believe impossible things, I dare say. You haven't had much practice, said the queen. When I was your age, I was always did in half an hour of a day. Why, sometimes I've believed as much as six impossible things before breakfast. It's different to say what is impossible. The dream of yesterday is a hope in today and the reality of tomorrow. All big things in this world are done by people who are naive and have an idea that is obliviously impossible. All big things come to in this world are done by the people who are naive and have an idea that is obviously impossible. Have an idea that is obviously impossible. Man is so made by whenever anything fires his soul, impossibilities vanish. A dream in the mind of the believer and in the hands of the doer, you are not giving him a dream. You are not given a dream without being given the power to make it come true. Don't be afraid of the space between your dreams and reality. If you can dream it, you can make it so. If one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and end of wars to live Live the life which he's imagined and will meet he will meet with success unexpected in common hours if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and end of wars to live the life which he has imagined he will meet with success unexpected in common hours if you have enough fantasies you're ready if the event of that something happens if you have enough fantasies you're ready in the event that something happens hitch your wagon to a star reach high for the stars lie hidden in your soul De dream deep for every dream precedes the goal my parents taught me that if I could do anything I can do anything and I wanted and I've always believed it to be true and a clear idea of what inspires you dedicate your energies into the pursuit that there is no knowing what you can achieve partially if others are inspired by your dream and offer you their help to live on a purpose, follow your heart and live your dreams. Within your heart, keep one still, secret spot where dreams may go. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. All of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Far away is the sunshine, our highest aspirations. I may not reach them, but I can look up at them and see their beauty, believe in them, and try to follow them. Everything starts as, some, as somebody's daydream. Everything starts as somebody's daydream. Dreams are extremely important. You can't do it unless you imagine it. You see things and then you say, why? But I dream things that never were, and I say, why not? The Wrights brothers flew right through the smoke screen of impossibility. There comes a time in a man's life when, there, when he has to get to where he has to go. And if there are no doors or windows, he has to walk through a wall. Believe in something larger than yourself. As long as you're going to think anyway, think big. Doctors and scientists said that the breaking in the four-minute mile was impossible, that one would die in the attempt. Thus, I got up and from the track after collapsing at the finish line, I figured I was dead. After listening to experts, they'll tell you what can't be done and why. Then do it. 
The Ark was built by amateurs and the Titanic by experts. Don't wait for experts. I owe my success to having listened respectfully to the very best advice and going away and doing the exact opposite. Most people ever run far enough but their first win to find out that they've got a second. Give your dreams all that you've got and you'll be amazed at the energy that comes out of you. Why not go out on the limb? Isn't that where the fruit is? Whatever you could do or dream, you can have. Begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Boldness. There are no rules or architecture for the castle in the clouds. There are no rules of architecture for a castle in the clouds. If you've built castles in the air, your work needs not be lost. That is where they should be. Now put the foundations under them. Embrace change. E. Enjoy today. To exist is to change. To change is to mature. To mature is to go on creating oneself endlessly. Even if you're on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. One must never lose time in vainly regretting the past or complaining against the changes which cause discomfort. For change is in the essence of life. We must change in order to survive. When you're through changing, you're through. Since we live in a changing universe, why do men oppose change? If a rock is the way and a root is, is well, the way it'll change its direction, the dumbest animal tries to adapt themselves to change conditions. Even a rat will change his tactics to get a piece of cheese. Change is a challenge and an opportunity not a threat. Change is often rejuvenating, invigorating, fun, and necessary. The first step towards change is acceptance. Change is not something you do, it's something you allow. All change, even the most longed for, has their melancholy for what we behind leave behind in us and the part of ourselves. We must die to one's life before we can enter into another. Each new session grows from the leftover from the past. That is the essence of change, and change is a basic law. Everything is connected. No one thing can change by itself, by the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the world. If you don't like the way the world is, change it, and you have an obligation to change it as well. Will you be the rock that redirects the course of the river? The world will not change until we do. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we challenge to change ourselves. Never underestimate the power to change yourself. Never under overestimate your power to change others. Things don't change. The change that you have in the way of your looking, that's all. Things don't change. You change your way of looking. That's all. Everything flows. Nothing stays still. Be here now. Be here now. Everything flows. Nothing stays still. Things don't change. You change your way of looking. That's all. And if not now, when? Life is great and wondrous mystery. And the only thing that we know is that is we have for sure is what is right here and right now don't miss it yesterday is a cancel check tomorrow is a promissory note today is the only cash we have so spend it wisely how we spend our days of course is how we spend our lives the only history that is worth a tinker's dam is the history we make today I have everything I need to enjoy my here and now unless I'm letting my consciousness be dominated by demands and expectations based on the dead past or an imagined future my here and now you can't clutch the past so tightly that your chest is and leaves your arms too fully to embrace the present you can't clutch the past so tightly to your chest that it leaves your arms too full to embrace the present he who lives in the present lives in eternity tomorrow's life is too late live today today's the first day of the rest of your life it's not that today there's the first day of the rest of my life but that now is all that there is of my life Yesterday is ashes, tomorrow's wood. Only today does the fire burn brightly. The past is the buckets of ashes, so live not in your yesterdays, nor just tomorrow, but in the here and now. The past cannot be regained, although that we can learn from it. The future is not yet ours, not yet ours, but we can plan for it. But the time is now. We only have today. This is the day from which the Lord is made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This day is all the good and the fair. It's not too dear with its hopes and invitations to waste a moment on the yesterdays. There are two days in the week, but which upon which I never worry. One of these days is yesterday, and the other day not to worry about is tomorrow. I live now and only now, and I will do what I want to do at this moment, and not what I decided was best for me yesterday. I have learned to live each day as it comes, and not to borrow trouble by dreading tomorrow. It is a dark menace of the future that makes cowards of us. We know nothing of tomorrow. Our business is to be good and be happy today. We don't have a picture of tomorrow. Tomorrow it may rain. Don't put off to tomorrow what you could do today because if you enjoy it today, you could do it again tomorrow. Some people are making such thorough preparation for rainy days that they aren't even enjoying today's sunshine. So never let a cloudy day ruin your sunshine, for even you can't see it. The sunshine is still there inside, your, inside of you, ready to shine when you will let it. 
If you let yourself be absorbed completely, if you surrender completely to the moments as they pass, you live way more richly of those moments. I can feel guilty about the past, apprehensive about the future, but the only is the present that I can act is the ability to be in the present moment. It's a major component of mental wellness. We have only this moment, sparkling like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake. Let us use it before it is too late. Love the moment and the energy of that moment will spread beyond all boundaries. Each day comes bearing its own gifts. Untie the ribbons. Normal day, let me be aware of the treasure you are. There is no such thing in anyone's life as an unimportant day. I thank you, God, for this most amazing day, for this leaping green spirits of the trees and the blue, true dream of sky, for everything from which is natural, which is the infinite, which is yes. Write in your heart and every day in the best day of your year. We are. We are. If we are ever to enjoy life, now is the time, not tomorrow or next year. Today should always be your most wonderful day. Surpassingly lively, precious days. What is there to say except, here they are, sitting through my fingers, slipping through my fingers like sand. Surpassing lively, precious days. What is there to say except, here they are, precious days, sifting through my fingers like sand. Life is all memory except for one passing moment. That goes by so quick, you can hardly catch it going. Light tomorrow with today's. Whether it's the best time or the worst times. Or whether it's the best of times or the worst of times. It's the only time we've got. F. Forget failure. Forget past mistakes. Forget failures. Forget everything except for what you're going to do now and do it. People who soar for those who refuse to sit back, sigh, and wish things would have changed. They neither complain or they're not, or they're lost passively dream of some distant ship coming in. Rather, they visualize in their minds what they are not, that they are not quitters. They will not allow life's circumstances to push them down and hold them under. Don't wait for extraordinary opportunities. Seize common occasions and make them great. Far better it's to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to take a rank with those poor spirits who never even enjoy much nor suffer much because they live in a gray twilight who knows not victory or defeat. What is defeat? Nothing but education, nothing but the first step towards something better. Mistakes are portals of discovery. There's nothing final about a mistake except being taken as final. To lose is to learn. Disappointment to a noble soul is a cold water means to a burning metal. It strengthens, tempers, intensifies, but never destroys it. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career and I've lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions I've been entrusted with the game's winning shot and missed and I failed over and over and over and over again in my life and that's why I succeed. If you miss 100% of the shots, you do miss 100% of the shots you don't take. 99% of the failures come from people who have the habit of making excuses. If you're going to be a failure, at least one, be one at something that you enjoy. Failure is a delay, but not defeat. It is a temporary detour, but not a dead end street. Being defeated is only a temporary condition. Giving up is what makes it permanent. Failure is impossible. Failure is a con condiment that gives success its flavor. Failure is, in a sense, the highway to success, inasmuch as every discovery of what is false leads us to seek earnestly after what is true, and every fresh experience points some form of error which we shall afterwards carefully avoid. Good people are good people because they've come to wisdom through failure. We get very little wisdom from success, you know. No experiment is ever a complete failure. We can always be used. We can, it can always be used as a bad example. I wasn't afraid to fail. Fail. Something good always comes out of a failure. What you'd attempt to do if you knew you could not fail. What would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? Gather your courage. G. Grow old gracefully. Gather your courage. Courage is a grace under pressure. Courage is fear that has said its prayers. Courage is not only a towering oak, but it's a storm that comes and goes. It's fragile blossom and opens in snow. Courage takes many forms. It's a physical courage. There's a moral courage. There's still a higher type of courage. The courage is to brave pain, to live with it, to never let others know of it, and to still find joy in life. To wake up in the morning with enthusiasm for the day ahead of you. To gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You're only able to say to yourself, I live through this horror and I can take the next thing that comes along. What is more modifying than to feel that you have missed a plum for a one of courage to shake the tree? You can't be brave unless you've only had a wonderful thing that happens to you. You can't be brave if you've only had wonderful things happen to you. Oh God, give us serenity to accept what we cannot be changed, the courage to change what we should be changed. Oh God, give us serenity to accept what cannot be changed. Courage to change what should be changed, and wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. Grant me the courage not to give up, even though I think if it is hopeless. 
Courage is not the absence of fear, but the mastery of fear is courage. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Confronting your fears and allowing yourself the right to be a human can periodically, paradoxically, make you a far happier and more productive person. Confronting your fears and allowing yourself to be a right, allowing yourself the right to be a human, paradoxically, can make you far happier and more productive as a person. Fear is a question. What are you afraid of and why? Other fears are treasure houses of self-knowledge if we explore them. Whatever you do, you need courage. Whatever course you decide upon, there's always something to tell you that you are wrong. And there's always difficulties arising which tempt you to believe that your critics are right. To map a course of action and to follow it to the end requires some of the same courage which soldiers need. To face despair and not to give in to it, that's courage. The greatest test of courage is to bear defeat without losing heart. There are days when you don't have a song in your heart. Sing anyway. The only courage that matters is the kind that gets you from one moment to the next. To be courageous means to be afraid, but to go a little step forward anyway. The bravest thing you can do when you are not brave is to profess courage and act accordingly. Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. Courage is very important, like muscle. It is strengthened by use. Courage, muscles, strengthens by use. Courage is a contagious. When a brave man takes a stand, the spines of other men are stiffened. If you carry your childhood with you, he'll never become older. Growing old is mandatory. Growing up is optional. You'll never be too old to do goofy stuff. Never think an oldish thought. Oldish thoughts make a person old. Cancer, schmancer. As long as you're healthy. As for me, except for an occasional heart attack, I feel as young as I ever did. You can't help getting old, but you don't have to get old. You're never too old to become younger. I don't know what the big deal is about age. Age people who shine from inside from 10 to 20 years younger. Wrinkles should merely indicate the smiles that have been. Nothing is more beautiful than the carefulness of an old face. Nothing is more beautiful than the cheerfulness of an old face. I never feel age. If you have creative work, you don't think age, you don't think of age or time. I never feel age. If you have creative work, you don't have age or time. Nobody grows old in merely living a number of years. People grow old only by des deserting their ideas. Years may wrinkle the skin, but giving up interest wrinkle the soul. It is not the years of your life, but the life in the years that count. The best part of the art of living is how to grow old gracefully. Old age has a great sense of calm and freedom. When the passions have relaxed their hold, you have accepted not from the master, but from many. The older I get, the greater power I seem to have help from the world. I'm like a snowball. The further I'm rolled, the more I gain. I've always been proud of my age. I think people should be proud of what they've been around long enough to have learned something. A newborn sweeps clean, but the old one knows the concerns. A newborn sweeps clean, but the old ones knows the corners. If youth we learn, in old age we, d we understand. One advantage in growing older is that you can stand for more and fall for less. Age is an opportunity no less than youth itself, though it's another dress. And in the evening, twilight fades away. The sky is filled with stars, invisible by day. Old age has its pleasure, but with thought, with though different, are not less than the pleasures of youth. There are many good tune played at an old fiddle. There are many good a tune played on an old fiddle. Grow along with me. Grow along with me, the best is yet to be, the last of life for which the first was made. I have no romantic feeling about age. Either you are interesting at your age or you're not. There's nothing particularly interesting about being old or being young, for that matter. All that matters, either you're interesting at any age or you're not. After 30, a body has a mind of its own. Retiring at the 65 is ridiculous. When I was 65, I still had pimples. I'm saving the rocker for the day I feel old, and I really am. If you rest, you rust. As you get older, don't slow down. Speed up. There's less time left. The joy of being older is that one's life, one can lean towards the end of the run and overact appallingly. Live your life and forget your age. H. Helping others. Hope. To travel hopefully is better a thing than to arrive. Hope is a feeling that you have the feeling you haven't isn't permanent. Where there's life, there's hope. If we're not, if it wasn't for our hopes, the heart would break. They say a person needs just three things to be truly happy in this world. Something to love, something to do, and something to hope for. The most important thing is not that we can live on hope alone, but that life is not worth living without it. Man can live about 40 days without food, three days without water, eight minutes without air, but only one second without hope. Hope is the best comfort of our imperfect conditions. Hope is like a gleaming taper light adores or cheers our way and still our dark it grows the night emits a brighter ray 
Hope sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. Hope is a good thing, maybe the best thing, and no good thing ever dies. Look down, not thou. Look not thou down, but up. The hopeful man sees success where others see failure, sunshine where others see shadows and storm. If winter comes, can spring be far behind? Flowers grow out of dark moments. Hope is a thing which feathers that perches in my soul and sings a tune without words and never stops at all. The gift that we can offer other people is simple. It's a thing called hope. There's no hopeless situations. There's only people who have grown hopeless about them. There's no medicine like hope. No incentive so great and tonic, so powerful as expectation of something tomorrow. There's one thing which gives a radiance to everything, and that's the idea of something around the corner. After all, tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow's the most important thing in life. It comes into us midnight, very clean, perfect when it arrives, puts its itself in our hands, and it hopes that we've learned something from yesterday. I have always been delighted at the prospect of a new day, a fresh try, one more start, with perhaps a bit of magic waiting somewhere behind the morning. Just remember, when you think all is lost, the future remains. Keep hope alive. We will never live close together, so our prime purpose in life is to help others, and if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. No one is useless in this world who lightens up the burden of it for anyone else. God has given us two hands, one to receive and the other one to give with. Remember, if you ever have a helping hand, you'll find one end of your arm. And as you grow older, you will discover that you have two hands, one for helping yourself and the other for helping others. Giving is the highest expression of power. You have not done enough. You have not done enough, so long as you still possible that you have something to contribute. We ourselves feel that we are doing just a drop in the ocean, but the ocean would be less because of that missing drop. There's no exercise better than the heart than reaching down and lifting people up. When a man is singing and cannot lift his voice, another man comes and sings with him. Another who can... Another who can lift his voice, and first will also be able to lift his voice too. That's the secret of bonds between spirits. Whether or not we realize it, and each of us has within us the ability to set some kind of example for people, knowing that this would rather be one kind of being the one of encouraging others, and the one inadvertently discourages those around you. A life isn't significant, except that for its impact on the on other lives. A life isn't significant except for its impact on other lives. Somewhere out there is a unique place for you to help others, a unique life rule for you to fill, and only you can fill. The sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. Long-range studies imply that doing something with other people, especially something for them, is the most powerful of all stimuli in longevity and health. From what we get, we cannot make a living. From what we give, however, we make a life. Service is the rent from which you pay in the room, on your room, on this earth. Whoever renders service to many puts himself in the line of greatness, great wealth, great return, great satisfaction, great reputation. Make sure you render yourself in service. One thing I know is the one thing amongst you is that you're really happy are those who have sought out to and found out how to serve. There's no happiness in having or in getting, but only in giving. You give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you're truly giving. The miracle of this is the more that we share, the more that we have. The one that gives gets back in kind. In helping others, we shall help ourselves. For whatever good we give out competes the circle that comes back to us. The world is a good nature to people who are good natured. It is the one and the most beautiful compensation of this life that one cannot sincerely try to help others without helping himself. By helping yourself, you are helping mankind. By helping mankind, you're helping yourself. There's a law of spiritual progress. If you always give, you will always have. When people are serving, life is no longer meaningless. Do things for others and you'll find that self-consciousness evaporating like the morning dew in Missouri cornfield in July. Giving opens the main and the way to receiving. And giving starts the receiving process. To reserve is beautiful. To serve is beautiful, but the only thing done with joy and with whole heart is a free mind. You have not lived a perfect day even though you have earned your money unless you have done something for someone who can and is not and never able to repay you. You have not lived a perfect day even though you have earned your money unless you have done something for someone who will never be able to repay you. Real charity doesn't care about its tax deductions. Keep it light. Know thyself. Angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. Let your life lightly dance on the edges of time like dew on the le tip of a leaf. Angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. Let your life lightly dance on the edges of time like doing the tip of a leaf. The one important thing I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and one's self seriously. The first is imperative and the second is disastrous. Do not take life too seriously. You'll never get out of it alive. Sit loosely in the saddle of life. The bird of paradise alights only on the hand that does not grasp. The willow which bends in the tempest often escapes better than the oak which resists it. And so in the great calamities, 
realize that something happens in Lighten, frivolous spirits recovers with elasticity and presence of mind sooner than those of loftier character. Let us be of good cheer, remembering for the misfortunes hardest to bear are those which never happen. The game is purpose, and the game and the purpose of the game is to be fun. If you have a bad day, don't worry about it. You can't expect to hit a home run every game. We live in an ironic society where every play is turned into work, but the highest existence is not work. The highest level of existence is this play. Can you imagine experiencing a world as a great sandbox given to us to play like a, we did as we were children? And as we play, we can also open ourselves to an exploration of our edges, always creating new adventures and self-exploration as we let go out of old dated beliefs with ourselves? Life begins as a quest as a child for a man and ends as a journey by the man to re dis rediscover the child. Life begins as a quest of a child for the man and ends as a journey by the man to rediscover the child. If my heart can become pure and simple like that of a child, I think there probably can be no greater happiness than this. Great is the man who cannot lose his childlike heart. To bring up a child is the way we should go. Travel in your ways once in a while. All animals except no man... The principal business of life is to enjoy it. Blessed is he who has learned to laugh at himself, and he shall never cease to be entertained. You should treat all disasters as if they were trivialities, but never treat trivialities as if it was a disaster. There are some things too so serious you have to laugh at them. Jokes are better than war. Even the most aggressive jokes are better than the least aggressive wars. Even the longest jokes are better than the shortest wars. I live by the credo, have a little laugh and look around in your happiness instead of sadness. Laughter has always brought me out of unhappy situations. Even in the darkest moment, you usually can find something to laugh about if you try hard enough. Happiness is not the state to arrive at, but a manner of traveling. To be happy, drop the words, if only, and substitute instead of the words, next time. Man is unhappy because he doesn't know he's happy. If anyone finds out, he'll become happy at once. Make up your mind to be happy. Learn to find pleasure in simple things. As long as I have food and a remote control, I'm happy. Sometimes in your life, you will go to a journey, and you're the longest journey that you've ever taken. It is the journey to find yourself. Though we travel the world and find the beautiful, we must carry it in us before we'll find it not. The question which one asks himself must begin at last to illuminate the world to become one's key to experiencing of others. The question one must ask oneself begin at last to illuminate the world and become one's key to the experience of others. When one is out of touch with oneself, one cannot touch others. There's only one corner of the universe that you can be certain of improving, and that's your own self. Nothing can bring you but peace, but yourself. If a man wants to be the greatest possible, follow to his fellow creatures. Let him begin the long, solitary task of perfecting himself. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better and better. I'm the best. Your only obligation in this lifetime is to be true to yourself. What you think of yourself is much more important than what others think of you. No one can make, and feel inf make you feel inferior without your consent. Don't underestimate the worth in comparing yourself with others. It's because we are different that each is special. Don't compromise yourself. You are all that you've got. We have a mental block inside of us and stops us from earning more than we think we are worth. If we want to earn more in reality, we need to upgrade our self-concept. What you discover on your own is always more exciting than what someone else discovers for you. It's like the difference between a romantic love and an arranged marriage. Know how to live within yourself. There's a soul, a whole world of mysterious and enchanted thoughts. They will be drowned by the noise without. Daylight will drive them away. But listen to their singing and be silent. All the wonders you seek are within yourself. I celebrate myself and sing myself. Know yourself. Don't accept your dog's admiration as conclusive evidence that you are wonderful. Your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakes? Until you make peace with who you are, you'll never be content with what you have. How many cares one losses when one decides not to be something but to be someone? The important thing to this is to be able to at any moment sacrifice what we are for what we could become. We are each gifted with a unique, important way. It's our privilege and our adventure to discover our own special light. We are the choices we make. Use what talents we possess. The woods would be very silent if no birds sang except those who sang best. Everyone has talent. What is rare is the courage to follow that talent into the dark place where it leads. 
Follow your instincts. If there was true wisdom manifested in oneself, self-pity gets you nowhere. One must have the adventurous daring to accept oneself in the bundle of possibilities and undertake the most interesting game in the world, making the most of one's best. The ultimate game should be done in your best and enjoying it. I've always tried to do my best in the ball field. I can do more than that. I've always tried to give 100%, and if the team loses, I still come back and give 100% the next day. Think of yourself as an athlete. I guarantee it. You'll change your stand, the way you walk, decisions, and everything with your body. Do what you can with what you have and where you are. You were born an original. Don't die a copy. L. Learn to forgive. Let her rip. Life's a journey. To err is human. To forgive is divine. Without forgiveness, life is governed by endless cycles of resentment and retaliation. Resentment is one burden that is incompatible with your success. Always be the first to forgive and forgive yourself first always. He that cannot forgive others breaks the bridge over which he must pass himself. For every man he needs to be forgiven. If you haven't forgiven yourself something, you can forgive others. Forgive and ye shall be forgiven. When a deep injury is done, we never recover until we forgive. The care of a grudge is like being stunned to death by one bee. We need to be able to forgive because if we don't, we'll put over the foot right down in the house from which of a life force. We need to be able to forgive because if we don't, we put our foot right down on the hose of our life force. To be wronged is nothing unless you continue to remember it. When a man points a finger to do someone at someone else, he should remember that three of his fingers are pointing at himself. Keeping score of an old score and scars, getting even and one-upping makes you less than you are. And when a man points a finger at someone else, he should remember that three of his fingers are pointing at himself. Anger makes us smaller while forgiveness forces you to grow beyond what you are. Always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them so much. Forgiveness is a funny thing. It warms the heart and cools the sting. Forgiveness means letting go of the past. One forgives to degree of one's love. Forgiveness is the final form of love. Life is an adventure in forgiveness. I don't want to get the end of my life and find that I've lived just the length of it. I want to have lived the width of it as well. Life is a great on a big canvas and you should throw all the paint you can on it. Life is a paradise for those who love many things and a passion. Live all you can and a mistake not to. It doesn't mean to me it doesn't matter but what you do in particular so long as you have your life. You haven't had that. I mean what have you had? The chief danger in life is that you may take too many precautions. Why not upset the apple cart? If you don't, the apples will rot away. They'll rot anyway. I decided long ago never to look at the right hand of the menu or the price tag of the clothes. Otherwise, I would starve. Naked. Everybody knows that if you're too careful, you are occupied to being careful that you are sure to stumble over something. If you wait... For the perfect moment, when all is safe and assured, it'll never arrive. Moments and mountains will never be climbed. Races won, lasting happiness achieved. A ship in a harbor is safe, but that's not what ships are for. Living at risk is jumping off a cliff and building in your wings and building your wings on the way down. Living at risk is jumping off a cliff and a building and jumping off a cliff and building your wings on the way down. Seize the day, put no trust into tomorrow. Living at risk is jumping off a cliff and building your wings on the way down. Live as if you have wished you have lived on the day you were dying. At the end, you're posing in eternity. It's that last picture. Don't be carried into death. Leap into it. May you live all the days of your life. Live and life is ours to be spent, not to be saved. Oh, wild and wild joys of living. If you ask me what I came into this world to do, I will tell you. I came to live out loud. Behold the tortoise. He makes progress. Only else he who sticks his neck out is the one who makes progress. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Mama exhorted her children at every opportunity to jump at the sun. We may not land on the sun, but at least we would get off the ground. Work like you don't need money. Love like you've never been hurt. Sing as no one can hear you and dance like no one is watching. Nobody cares if you can't dance well. Just get up and dance. Have a blast while you last. When you're skating on thin ice, you might as well tap dance. Don't be afraid your life will end. Be afraid you will never have a chance to begin. The tragedy of a man of what dies inside him while he's still alive. First of the dying to have finished in high school and start college. Then I was dying to finish college and start working. Then I was dying to marry and have children. Then I was dying for my children to grow old enough so that I could return to work. Then I was dying to retire. Now I'm dying. And suddenly I realize I forgot to live. One of the most tragic things I know about my human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. We're dreaming of some special magical rose garden over the horizon instead of enjoying the roses blooming outside of our window today. Don't hurry. Don't hurry. You're only here for a short visit, so be sure to stop by and smell the flowers. It's only when we truly know and understand what we have is all limited on earth and that we have no way of knowing when our time is up and we will begin to live each day to the fullest as if we only had one left. Live each day as if you climb a mountain, climb slowly, steadily, enjoying each passing moment, and the view from the summit will serve as a fitting climax to the journey. 
When a child is born, all rejoice. When someone dies, all weep. But it makes much sense, if not more, to rejoice in the end of life from the beginning. No one can tell what events await in a newborn child, nor the mortal dies if he successfully completed a journey. That's the only question. The mortal who dies, has he successfully completed a journey? We don't receive wisdom. We must discover it for ourselves. After a journey that no one can take us to spare us. Either control your own destiny, or someone else will. Destiny is no matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. It's a thing to be waited for. It's a thing to be achieved. We must must be willing to get rid of life's we've planned so that we can have the life that we've been waiting for. We must get rid of life's that we've planned and have the life that is waiting for us. If we must trust our intuition and respond, it's always right because we're open enough to see what to do. Every person, all the events of your life is because you've drawn onto them. You choose to do with them with what is up to you. The greatest use of life is to be spent in something that will outlast it. Here's the test to find whether your mission on earth is finished. If you're alive, it isn't. The game of life is not so much in holding good hands in a play or pool hand well. All art is living. All art living lies in a fine mingling of letting go and holding on. Life is a movie. Life is a movie through your own unique eyes. It makes a little difference from what's happening out there from how you take it that counts. Life's moving pretty fast, so if you don't stop and look around every once in a while, you could miss it. It could take at the end of a journey towards, but the journey that matters is it that mattered at the end. It is good to have an end to journey towards. But it is the journey that mattered in the end. Life is like a sewer. You've got to get out of it what you put into it. Life is like a sewer. You get out of it what you put into it. It's like a sewer. Things turn to the best people who make the best of the way things turn out. Life doesn't require that we do the best, only that we try our best. Life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. And never give up. Never give up. Never give up. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the roads are struggling, seems up a hill, when the care is pressing you down a bit, rest and you must, but don't ever quit. Be like a postage stamp. Stick to one thing till it gets you there. If you really want something, you can figure out how to make it happen. Don't give up. When you still have something to give, nothing is really over until the moment you stop trying. You may be disappointed if all that you fail, but don't be doomed if you don't try. The important thing is that you learned a lesson. Every time you lose. Learn a lesson. Problems are messages. A setback is an opportunity to begin again more intelligently. Giving up is the ultimate tragedy. It is common sense to take a month and try it. If it fails, admit frankly and try another. But above all, try something. Never let your head hang down. Never give up and sit down or grieve. Find another way. Find another way. Fall seven times. Stand up eight. Our greatest glory is not of it of falling, but rising every time we fall. The bend in the road is not the end of the road unless we fail to make the turn. If you've ever made a mistake, there's always another chance. You have a fresh start at any moment to choose, and that thing we call failure is not falling down, but staying down. I think a hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. Keep on keeping on. Little by little does the trick. By perseverance, the snail reaches the ark. In a confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins, not through strength, but through persistence. The flower of the follows. The flower that follows the sun does even on cloudy days. Even the woodpecker owes his success to the fact that he uses his head and keeps pecking away until he finishes the job he starts. Adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is patience. The key to everything is patience. You get the chicken by hatching the egg, not by smashing it. When time and patience is, the mulberry leaf becomes a silk gown. I think the thing of months and the years, 99 times the conclusion is false, the 100 time I am right. Champions keep playing until they get it right. It is easier to have faith in yourself than discipline when you're a winner. When you're number one, what you have gotten faith in is the discipline when you're not a winner. Never confuse a single defeat with a final defeat. It is never too late in fiction or in life to revise. It's never too late to revise, 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 refine, rejuvenate, revise. Overcome obstacles. Overcoming obstacles. Sometimes things in which a moment may be perceived as an obstacle as actually being obstacles, difficulties, and drawbacks can as long in a long run result in some good end from which have not occurred had been for the obstacle. The world is around in a place that may seem like at the end it's also but the beginning. What a caterpillar calls the end of the world, a master calls a butterfly. Difficulties are meant to be aroused, not discouraged. The human spirit is to grow strong in conflict. Adversity causes some men to break, others to break records. I would never have amounted to anything for not adversity. I forced to come up in the hard way. I found that life persists in the midst of destruction and therefore must be of higher law than that out of destruction. Life it serves experiences from which one has makes to bigger, even 
though sometimes it's harder to realize this. The difficulties, hardships, and trials of life, the obstacles are positive blessings. They knit the muscles more firmly and teach self-reliance. Should you yield the canyons from the windstorms, you should never see the beauty of their carvings. The more the marble wastes, the more the statue grows. If all the misfortunes had laid in the common heap, whence everyone must take an equal portion, most people would have contented to take their own and depart. The more you try to avoid suffering, the more suffer becomes smaller. Things to be tortured, you in proportion to fear of the suffering. To live is to suffer. To survive is to find meaning in the suffering. Even in your deepest sinking, there's a hidden purpose of the ultimate rising. Thus, this is for all men, that the none of the source of, li source of light withheld unless he himself withdraws from it. Therefore, the most important thing is not to despair. Don't get hung up with saying in the stream, my dear. Snags alone are so dangerous, it's debris and clings them make the trouble. Pull yourself loose and go on. Anyone can carry the burden, however heavily, until nightfall. Anyone can do his work, however hard, for one day. Anyone can live sweetly, patiently, lovingly, purely, till the sun goes down. And that is all that life really means. Nothing happens to anybody which is not fitted by nature to bear. Which does not destroy me, only makes me stronger. No tree becomes rooted and sturdy unless many winds assail on it, for its very tossed in the light and grip the plants roots more surely secure, the fragile trees of those who have grown in a sunny valley. Nothing splendid has ever been achieved except for those who dared to believe in something that was more superior to circumstances. Nothing splendid has ever been achieved except for those who dared to believe that something inside of them was superior to circumstances. I seldom think about the limitations and to learn of what makes me sad. Perhaps there's just a touch of yearning at times, but it's vague, like a breeze amongst flowers. They never told me I couldn't. For some misfortunes we bring upon ourselves, others completely beyond our control. But no matter what happens to us, we always have some control over what we do about it. The longer we dwell on misfortunes, the greater is the power to harm us. Trouble is the part of life in which you don't share it, you don't give it to the person who you love enough. Ch chance to love you enough. Trouble is a part of life, and if you don't share it, if you don't give the person who loves you enough chance to love you enough, you gotta, gotta give the ch a person a chance to love you enough. It's easy enough to be pleasant when everything goes like a song, but a man who is worthwhile is the man who can smile when everything goes dead wrong. Weeping may endure the night, but the joy cometh in the morning. The only way to get through whatever Olympics we're engaged in is by firing up a sense of humor and pressing on. By becoming the overwhelming by the illness, death, and grief that we forget with the humor, like the moon can bring light to our darkest times. By the merry talk, they can suffer to forget grief. Turns your stumbling, stumbling blocks into stepping stones. Knock the tea off of can't. We are continuously faced with great opportunities, brilliantly disguised in insoluble problems. There are no great people in this world, only great challenges, which ordinary people rise to meet. Trouble is only opportunity in work clothes. I will love the light for the, for the light for which shows me the way. I will endure the darkness for it shows me the stars. Do not think of today's failures, but the success that may come from tomorrow. You may have set yourself as a difficult task, but you will succeed if you persevere, and you will find joy in the overcoming obstacles. Achieving goals by themselves will never make you happy in the long term. It's he who has to become and overcome obstacles necessary to achieve the goals that can get the deepest sense of the most lasting sense of fulfillment. Difficulty times has helped to understand a better and before infinite rich and beautiful life in every way that so many things have gone, goes worrying about are no important in any type of way whatsoever. If you could break your necks, you'll have nothing to eat. If, you can house, if your house is on fire, then you got a problem. Everything else is inconvenience. R. Right livelihood. The right livelihood. Your work has discovered your work and then your heart gives yourself to yourself. The first step is to find out what you love and don't be practical about it. The second step is to start doing what you love immediately in a small way possible. Your work is to discover your work and then with all your heart to give yourself to it. All work is empty save there is a love. All work is empty save when there is a love. To love what you do and feel that it matters, how could anything else be more fun? Where your work is, there ought to be joy. A musician must take his music, an artist must paint, a poet must write his ultimate peace with himself. A man can be what he must be. Bless he who has found his work. Every individual has a place to fill in this world important in some respect, whether he chooses to be so or not. Work is love made visible. You cannot work with love with only a distaste and better that you leave your work and sit at a gate of a temple and take arms of those who work with joy. God gave man work, not a burden into him but to bless him the useful work willingness cheerfulness effectiveness done has always been the finest expression of the human spirit none of us will ever accomplish anything excellent or commanding except for the listens to the whispers which he's heard him alone say the greatness of work is inside a man all labors that uplift 
uplift humanity has dignity and importance that should undertake the painstaking of excellence. There is a much dignity in the tilling of a field as in writing a poem. There's no menial jobs, only menial attitudes. Honest labor bears a lovely face. I do not like work, no man does, but I like what work does. A chance to find yourself, your own reality for yourself, and not for others, but for no other man can ever know. Life means to have something definite to do, a mission to fulfill, a measure from which to avoid setting our life to do something, but we make and dodge the empty. Human life is a very nature, it has to be dedicated to something. Far and away is the best prize that life offers, the chance to work hard and work for something. If a man hasn't discovered something that he would die for, he isn't fit for living. Sometimes it's more important to discover what one cannot do than what can one can do. Work is effort applied towards some end. The most satisfying work involves direction and one efforts towards achieving the goals and the ends. Therefore, they endorse worthy expressions of our talents and our character. Let us not be content to wait, but to see what will happen when giving us the determination to make the right things happen. The return from the work must be satisfaction which the work brings in. The world needs to be in that work. With that, life is a heaven. As near as heaven as you can get without this, the work will be despised, which bores you, which the world does not need. Life is a hell. The return from your work must be in satisfaction with that work brings to you the world needs of that work with that life is heaven and as near to you as can get without this work that you despise which bores you in the world that does not need its life is hell <laughs> we become what we do we become what we do and we become what we think about it's not good running a pig farm badly for 30 years while saying really I was meant to be a ballet dancer by that time pigs will be in your style let each man pass the days in the wearing of his skill there is his, his skill is his greatest destiny of what you're supposed to do in life faith that which kicks you in the ass to make you do it work has to include the deepest values and passions feelings and commitments or it's not work it's just a job anybody can do just about anything with himself that he really wants and makes up his mind to do we are capable in greater things than we realize do you want do what you love. The money will follow. The sweet smell of success. Don't aim for success. If you want it, just do what you love and believe in it and it'll come naturally. Success follows doing what you want to do. There's no other way to be successful. Know what you want to do. Hold the thought firmly and do everything that you should that should be done. Just every sunset, see that you've done that much more to get nearer to your goal. Every successful person I have heard of has done the best that he could in the conditions that he found himself in and not wait until the next year for a better set. It takes 20 years to make an overnight success. Perseverance is a great element for success. It's only the knock along and the loud enough at the gate is sure to wake up somebody. The elevator success is out of order. You have to use the stairs one step at a time. Success seems to be largely a greater matter of hanging on to after while everyone else lets go. Most people who succeed in the face of seemingly impossible conditions are people who simply don't know how to quit. Character cannot be developed by the ease and of quietness. Through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. I cannot give you the formula for success, but that I can give you the formula for failure, which is try to please everybody. You always pass failure on the way to success. If you're not failing now again, it's a sign you're not playing it safe. The difference between a good and a great is just a little extra effort. If you aren't going all the way, why go at all? Success is not a result of spontaneous combustion, but more first a set of yourself on fire. People become real quite remarkably. People who become really quite remarkable when they start thinking that they can do things and they believe in themselves and then the first, that is the first secret to success. While one person hesitates because he feels inferior, the other is busy making mistakes and becoming superior. I studied the lives of great men and famous women and found that the men and women who get to the top were the ones who did the job and had it in hand with everything that they had of energy and enthusiasm in the hard work. Keep away from the people who are trying to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that, but the really great people make you feel good as they become great. You can become great. Wherever you're sitting across from some important person, always picture him sitting there in a suit along underwear. That's the way it's always a way of operating in business. Wherever you're sitting across in some important person, always picture him sitting there in a suit of long underwear. That's the way I always operated in business. Everything depends on circumstances. You must sail accordingly to the wind. Don't wait for your ship to come. Swim out to it. Find a need and fill it. The secret to success is to live like a man ready for his opportunity when it comes. If a window of opportunity appears, don't pull down the shade. If an opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Don't be afraid to take a big step if one is indicated that you can't cross a chasm in two small jumps. There are some things that you can only achieve by deliberating a leap in opposite direction. Why should you be in such desperate haste to, succe to succeed and in such desperate enterprises? If a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he has different drummers. He, is a, he hears a different drummer. 
Why should you be in such desperate haste to, succe to succeed in such desperate enterprises? If a man does not keep at the pace of his companions, perhaps it's because he hears a different drummer. Success consists of getting up just one more time than you have when you fall. Genius is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. 80% of success is showing up. The secret to success is constantly to purpose. The world stands aside to let anyone pass who knows where he is going. Winners can tell you where they are going and plan to do along the way, and he will be sharing the adventure with them. You will be sharing the adventure with them. Success means to go to sleep at the night knowing that your talents and abilities were used in the way that served others. If a man has a talent and cannot use it, he has failed. If he has a talent and he can use only half of it, he's partially failed. If he has talent and learns somehow to use the whole of it, he's gloriously succeeded in one satisfaction the triumph few men ever know. The richest person is the one who is contented with what he has. Abundance is about being rich, with or without money. Money can be the husk of many things. It could be the husk of many things, but not the kernel. It brings the food, but not the appetite. Medicine, but not the health. Acquaintances, but not the friends. Servants, but not the loyalty. Days, but not the joy, but the peace of happiness. Days of joy, but not peace of happiness. He has achieved success who has lived well, laughed often, and loved much. No man is a failure who is enjoying life. I'd rather be a failure at something I'd be than a success at something I hate. I, as most people, can do extraordinary things that have confidence to take the risk, yet most people don't. They sit in front of the telly and treat life as if it goes on forever. God gave us two hands, one to sit and one to think with. Success depends on the ones from which we use, heads, and the wind's tails you lose. Use your heads, you win, tails you lose. Take the T, first step. Take the first step. Journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. What saves a man is to take a step, then another step. The distance is nothing. It's only the first step that's important. He who has begun has half done. Dare to be wise. Begin. Begin somewhere. You cannot build a reputation on what you intend to do. No matter how big or soft or warm your bed is, you still have to get up out of it. The beginning is the most important part of every work. Don't be afraid to do something big to occur. Start where you are with what you have and you will always lead into something greater. The person who moves mountains begins carrying away small stones. The older I get, the more wisdom I find in the ancient rule of taking first things first, a process which often reduces most complex humans' problems to manageable proportions. First things first. The secret of getting ahead and getting started is the secret of getting started and breaking your complex, overwhelming tasks into small, manageable tasks, then starting on the first one. You can't try to do things. You simply must do them. The tragedy of life is not in the end so soon, but that, that we wait so long to begin in it. Inaction may be the biggest form of action. If you don't know where you are going, you'll probably end up somewhere else. The important thing is somehow to begin. As long as you can start, you are all right. The juice will come. Too often people do attempt to live their lives backwards. They try to have more things, more money in order to make more what they want and be happier. And it's actually in works the reverse. You must be happy from who you really are and what you do and what you do matters in order to have what you want. Knowing what you want is the first step to getting it. Where you stand is not as important as the direction from which you are going. If you're climbing the ladder of life, rung by rung, one step at a time, something sometimes you don't think you're progressing until you step into how high you've really gone, until you step back and see how high you've really gone. If you're climbing the ladder of life, rung by rung, one step at a time, sometimes you think you're not getting progress until you step back and see how high you've really gone. Never look down to test your ground before you're taking the step ahead. Only he who looks his eye fixed at the far horizon will have his right road. Begin at the beginning, the key said gravely. Begin at the beginning and go till you come to the end and then stop. W. Win some, lose some. Win some, lose some. You're going to lose some ball games and you're going to win some ball games, but that's about it. Everything you've missed, you have gained something else. And for everything you've gained, you will lose something. Some things can go right, but only first if things go wrong. There are many as the odd world are, but you hold things break. And about of all of us, I've observed that example of all, we get the same amount of ice. The rich, we get the same amount of summertime. The poor, will get the same amount of winter. There are many in this old world of ours that hold the things that breaks about even for all of us. So it breaks about even for all of us. I've observed that, for example, that we all get the same amount of ice, the rich get the same amount of summertime, the poor get the same amount of winter. Life is pretty simple. You do the same stuff, most fail, some works, some more of what works, some work big, some quickly copy it, then you do something else. The trick is to do something else. Victory is not the one in miles, but in the inches. When little by now, hold your ground and a little, a little bit more. You'll think that you can win. You can win. Faith is necessary to victory. Pick battles big enough to matter, small enough to win. If it's worth a worthwhile fight, 
It didn't matter who won, but some good was sure to come of it. When you let someone else win an argument often, you both end up as winners. The person who is upset about the most is the best teacher because they bring you the face-to-face -face with who you are. Some people like me, like some people don't. Some can never get everyone like you, nor knock yourself out trying. Some people like me, some people don't. You can never get everyone to like you, so don't knock yourself out trying. Winners never quit and quitters never win. You never lose until you stop trying. Everything that has a beginning has an ending. And make sure that you're at peace with that, and all will be well. The change your life quotes.